Hi Libra, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly angel tarot card reading for the week of October the 26th to November the 2nd. I want to thank you again for tuning into my channel Libra and for your interest in these weekly 12 zodiac videos. <clears throat> For all the people that are subscribing to me every day and leaving me wonderful, kind, and positive, encouraging comments about these videos, I truly thank you. For all the new people coming in requesting readings, I am truly blessed and being uh, filled with abundance more and more every day, and I thank you, Libra, for this. <clears throat> we start our week, Libra, on Monday with an air card, and this is the Queen of Air. Now. Air cards represent uh, communication, uh, justice in our life or injustice in our life, and often they have to do with issues that circulate around the legal system. They're telling me that like this queen, you are about to make a decision and that you need to be very objective when you do make this decision because you're, it's showing me that you're going to be clearing away anything that doesn't serve you anymore. That can be a situation, a job, um, a relationship, anything like that. So you're going to clear that away that doesn't serve you anymore and that you're going to do this and almost you're going to say, finally, why did I take so long doing this? Why did I put myself through this grief? I should have done this a long time ago. And uh, know that, uh, like this queen, um, you're going to be able to exert your independence and you're going to feel more experienced and realistic and witty. On Tuesday, my friend, you've been given a beautiful water card. This is the five of water card. And as you know, the water cards are my favorite. They have to do with relationships in our life. Not often... Um, uh, intimate or uh, romantic relationships. They can be relationships to do with our friends and family members. But if they also have to do with um, uh, with with um, your desires and the depths of your um, intuitive and psychic gifts as well. Um, this card is saying that things aren't turning out the way you'd hope. For some of you, you're feeling very negative about a situation that's come into you right now and you can't seem to see the positive in this situation at all so they refer to this card as the spilt milk card okay that's how you're feeling about this situation and I tell everybody that's how easy it is to wipe away spilt milk on Wednesday crowning your week you've been given an earth card and you have three earth cards in your reading this week so they're telling me that you're uh, they ha it has to do with um, uh, the material parts of our lives, how we bring the abundance in, and often has to do with our jobs and our careers and our places of employment. This is telling me that some of you uh, have to make time for those around you. You've been very, very busy with your work, and take a sensible approach when you do this, okay? You need to, uh, any challenges that are coming into you this week around Wednesday, you need to be a little kinder and more understanding uh, with these issues and the people that are around you on Wednesday. On Thursday, my friend, you've been given a major card. <clears throat> Excuse me. This major card is the moon card. It's all about you listening to your own intuition. It's about feelings of insecurity uh, that stem from irrational or unreal concerns that you might have. It's all about your self-awareness and to overcome past blocks that have held you back. You now can awaken to the, to the truths about yourself that maybe you've kept hidden from others and, and not wanted them to emerge. This is all about you realizing that you are a brilliant light yourself. Um, some of you are tapping into your own psychic um, uh, abilities and you're going to see more insight there uh, in your life. There's things that are going on behind the scenes right now. And um, you need to be aware of that. But know that it's okay because these are changes in you that have to do with this moon card. And you need to release any fears that are holding you back right now. Okay, the bottom line was you need to realize that you need to see your own brilliant light. On Friday, this is your second of three Earth cards. This particular Earth card is telling me that uh, you are going to be, some of you, receiving good news about financial matters. You've been wanting to do something more challenging in your life. 
as well at your place of employment. And they show me that you are actually going to be looking into a new form of study that you're going to get into to help you with that. Here's your third one, your Earth card for Saturday. This is the night of Earth, okay? They're telling me that you need to buckle down and you need to honor your commitments that you've made at your place of employment and get these things done. But know that you're going to have help. It's like they show me your guardian angel standing behind you with their hand on your shoulder saying, I've got your back covered, you can do this, and we can do this together. On Sunday, the end of the week, you've been given the release card. Now, this release card has been coming up a lot in these readings this week. So there's, there's a bit of a, uh, a um, trend going on here with this week. They're telling me with this uh, that for some of you, it's time to move on. And it may be the end of a project or a phase in some of your lives right now. And they're telling me that you need to shake off the old in order to allow the new to come in. It's like opening the door and closing it behind you and going on to the next door and stage in your life. There's no benefit staying in this situation if it's not serving you, okay? Uh, now, with this release card, um, it being the end of a phase or a situation in your life um, and that you are moving on, it, it can often bring you uh, relief along with some sadness. But with this release and walking away from this situation in your life or these people in your life or whatever it is uh, that's not serving you and you've outgrown it because you see uh, you're, it is to do with often with relationship transitions for some of you. And know that you'll be able to lean on the support of friends and family that are going to be there with you if you should feel some sadness with this release, this walking away and letting it go. Now, at the end of this week, uh, the universe source and your guide sent you this beautiful card, okay, spiritual growth. Now, spiritual growth, during this time, you may feel a mixture of many feelings, confusion, excitement, fear, and wonder. You love your renewed connection with the divine, and you wish you could read, study, learn, or meditate on a full-time basis. So spiritual growth is coming into some of you. You're going to uh, go through a time of rapid spiritual growth, and you need to enjoy the process. Um, it's all about um, being awakened and enlightened for some of you right now. So embrace the new spiritual growth that you're experiencing. Perhaps some of you are manifesting, and perhaps some of you are meditating, and perhaps some of you have tapped into your own intuition and your own gifts that you have. Enjoy that spiritual growth. Uh, I thank you again for tuning into my channel. And should you require and desire a private reading again, Libra, or for the new Libras coming into me, I invite you to go to my website. And my website is www. Brenda Tarot, spelled T-A-R-O dot info. Hope to see you soon for a reading. I leave you again today with another quote. And the quote I chose today is, you must learn a new way to think before you can master a new way to be. I wish you a great remainder to today and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to, Libra. I'll see you again next week, and know that I continue to stand in the circle of light for you, my friend.